This topic is all about expanding binomials. In multiplying binomials, we often do the fall method. For example, let's solve for quantity x plus y squared. By doing the FOIL method, we will multiply the first term, which is equal to x squared. Multiply the outside terms, which is equal to xy. Multiply the inside terms, which is equal to xy. Then multiply the last terms, which is equal to y squared. After that, add them and combine the similar terms. And the answer would be x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. But how about expanding binomials raised to 3? For example, quantity x plus y raised to 3. This become x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. To solve for this, do the fall method in the first two polynomials and it will become x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Then after that, we will multiply it by the other binomial, quantity x plus y. To solve this, multiply each term of the first polynomial to each term of the binomial. Then combine similar terms. And the answer would be x cubed plus 3x squared x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. But what if you will expand binomials raised to 4, raised to 5, and higher than that? So let me introduce to you sh the shortcut in expanding binomials raised to any power. The binomial theorem. It is a quick way of expanding a binomial expression that has been raised to some power. In short, it is the shortcut in expanding binomials raised to any power. The formula for the binomial theorem will be showed like this. To understand it more, let's try this example. Quantity x plus y raised to 5 for the first term. The constant is 1. The degree of the x should be the highest degree, which is 5, and the y is the lowest degree, which is 0, for the second term. The degree of x should be decreasing, so the degree of x is 4. The degree of y should be increasing, so the degree is 2. And for the constant, multiply the degree of x in the first term to the constant of the first term and divide it to the degree of y in the second term. So 1 times 5 divided by 1 is equals to 5. For the third term, the degree of x is 3 since it must be decreasing. The degree of y is 2 because it must be increasing. The constant is 10 because if we multiply the degree of x in the second term to the constant of the second term, which is 5 times 4 and divide it to the degree of y in the third term, which is 2, the answer will be 10 for the fourth term. The degree of x is 2, the degree of y is 3, and for the constant, 10 times 3, which came from the third term, divided by 3, is equal to 10 for the fifth term. The degree of x is 1, the degree of y is 4. 10 times 2 over 4 equals 5 for the constant and for the last term. 0 degree of x, 5 degree of y, and for the constant, 5 times 1 over 5 is equal to 1. Simplify the answer and it will become x raised to 5 plus 5 x raised to 4 y plus 10 x raised to 3 y raised to 2 plus 10 x raised to 2 y raised to 3 plus 5 x y raised to 4 plus y raised to 5. In expanding binomials, always remember that the degree of x should be decreasing starting from the highest degree. The degree of y should be increasing starting from 0. To solve for the constant of the term, multiply the constant of the previous term to the degree of x in the previous term and divide it to the degree of y from the term. The number of terms should always be 9th plus 1.